Hey, welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So today we have a pretty special weapon gizmo making kind of guide and I also have loot from a thousand of these weapon gizmo shells. Uh, I'm trying to get precise for equilibrium too. Now this is going to be one of the best weapon perks to have on your weapons. Uh, there's two different variations. The cheaper option is to go for Precise 5, Equilibrium 3. They're basically guaranteed to get those drops. Uh, all you have to do is try a couple of times. I think the Precise 5 is actually guaranteed with 5 Armadillo components and the Equilibrium 3 is guaranteed with 5 Rumbling components or it's a pretty good chance of getting it at least. Um, but the Precise 4, Equilibrium 2 is a very hard perk to get. Uh, basically, I made a thousand weapon gizmo shells already. I do want to explain how to make those. Uh, you need 5,000 crafted parts, 10,000 blade parts, and 2,000 strong parts. I already had all those parts ready to go, or uh, I did it pretty losslessly. I just disassembled some uh, iron two-hand swords as well as some pouches, both of which already were given components that I wanted. Uh, if you haven't already seen it out, I have a couple of money-making guides down below. Uh, I was doing some money-making guides and got those parts just as a kind of side benefit. Now to make the Precise 4 Equilibrium 2 perk, you are going to need to use precise components. Now, as you see, I have 12,500 of these. I'm only going to need to actually have 5,000 of them. But there are a lot of different perks that they could possibly give you. Uh, we are going for Equilibrium 2 Precise 4. That's probably going to take a little bit of time. Uh, I did get these all from making equipment siphons though. It, again, lossless extra components that I had. Now, I'm going to be doing these at least until I get 3 Precise 4 2, or 3 Precise 4 Equilibrium 2 Weapon Gizmos. Uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is just mass producing them as quickly as I can. Uh, I already got a decent one here and just repeat it over and over and over again. Uh, and then hopefully I'll get what I want. If I don't get anything I want though, I am going to be disassembling all of these. And this is actually called, known as the kind of component lottery. Uh, occasionally you do get uncommon components and they may be good uncommon components or they may be just junk uncommon components. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, now, I do want to mention one thing. I don't intend on putting these on my weapons immediately. Now, it may seem stupid to actually be doing this right now if I don't intend on putting in my weapons immediately, but uh, the only reason why it might be worth it is if you are willing to also get the Aftershock ability. Um, and I don't have money for the Aftershock ability yet. Uh, as you see, I only have 35 million. As I progress my bossing series, I will definitely have enough money for it in the future. But as of right now, I am going to be just making these for the sake of making them and making it so that I don't have to be doing it at a later date and time. I'll already have these available when I do start having the Aftershock ability. Now I am running low on the other parts to make the weapon gizmo shells, but I have plenty of precise components, so that's not really a concern of mine. Uh, and I'm planning on continuing making equipment siphons, so uh, never gonna have to worry about precise components, but I will have to try to make some extra weapon gizmos at some point if I don't get three. Uh, I'll see you back here as soon as I get something worth mentioning though. So we are 40 gizmos in and I get the first thing worth mentioning. Uh, the fact that I got the first thing worth mentioning, 40 gizmos in, is not boding well for getting three of these uh, precise four equilibrium twos, but well, let's go ahead and look at see what I actually did get though. I did get precise three equilibrium two. Now this is a very marginal difference in DPS. It is, I think, about 0.7% difference in DPS from precise four equilibrium two. So I'm going to keep three of these and basically just upgrade them to precise four equilibrium two whenever possible but as for right now this is probably going to be the best perk that i'm going to be expecting to get from these thousand attempts i do want to at least get one precise four equilibrium two uh, i'm hoping to get two uh, but then anything else that i don't get precise four equilibrium two on i'm going to have a spare precise three equilibrium two just as sort of a backup uh, then I can always just destroy these and add in the precise 4 equilibrium 2 whenever I get around to actually getting the full perks. But we'll see exactly how many of them I get at the end of the thousand. 
guess is the way that luck works. Uh, I did get another two equilibrium twos, precise threes. So that means I now have all three of the precise three equilibrium two that I might possibly want. Uh, and I'm only about 50 in, so fingers crossed we'll be getting a precise four equilibrium two here soon. <laughs> I got so close with this one. Uh, so we are about 200 weapon gizmos shells in. Uh, this is only the second time I'm actually seeing precise four on anything. The first one had cautious on it, so I just threw it away. Uh, now I got precise four equilibrium one. I'm going to, have to look into that, see if this is actually better than precise three equilibrium two. Um, just from the way it looks, uh, it may actually be better to have precise four equilibrium one than it is to have precise three equilibrium two. But that's so depressing being this close. Uh, but I'm probably going to be going for a little bit longer to hopefully get precise four equilibrium two at some point soon. Let's see. Okay, so we just hit 500, that's a halfway mark, and let's see what we have so far. Uh, we have, starting out with the three precise three equilibrium twos, I do have three of these. Uh, those are probably going to be the best you can expect if you're only doing like a hundred of these. Uh, it seems like you would actually be getting one at least, at least one every single 100. I've been getting quite a few of Precise 3, Equilibrium 2. Uh, precise 3 and Equilibrium 2 are very common things to get on these shells. Uh, I already got the one Precise 4, Equilibrium 1. I'm going to have to check to see if it's actually better than Precise 5. If it's not, then I don't see why I'm doing this, honestly. Uh, the Precise 4, Equilibrium 2 is just going to be very marginally better than Precise 5. I might just throw Precise 5 on there until I have enough to try this again, uh, but hopefully Equilibrium 1 is a little bit better than one tier of Precise. Uh, gonna have to check into that though. And there's three other ones that I actually kind of kept a hold on just in case if they ever actually become useful. I kept flanking two equilib or sorry, flanking two Precise 3. Uh, so, if you don't already know what flanking is, basically if you are behind an opponent, you deal extra damage if you are using a stunned ability. Very, very, um, I don't know what I really want to call it, I guess, marginal use. Uh, they also don't stun for some reason. I think that if they at least stunned, it might be worthwhile using this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep a hold of these. I might find an option that flanking might be actually good, just very specific scenario. I know that there's some group bosses that may be worthwhile using, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I am keeping a hold of these just in case. Uh, that's uh, basically of all these though, uh, the Precise 3 Equilibrium 2 is very common, and uh, Precise 3 Flanking 2 I don't think even has a use, so I have maybe like one decent perk here. Uh, I don't even know, it's, it's getting a little bit down. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting anything from this whole thousand of them. I uh, can always hope though. Hopefully I will see you back here with a precise four equilibrium too. You never know. <laughs> okay, so oh my gosh, didn't think I was going to be this excited when I got it. I just saw it flicker past because I was kind of clicking through them pretty quick. Uh, and I got precise four equilibrium too. This is what we came for. I uh, got one of them. Uh, so as you can see, that's about 650 in, uh, and I got precise four maybe like six or seven times now. It's precise four is really the limiting factor here. You have to get precise four and then again roll the equilibrium two. So I maybe had seven chances at this so far, and this is the first one that actually popped up for me. Whew! Uh, got this is not as bad of a video as I thought it was gonna be. I was starting to think in the back of my head like, what happens if I don't get this perk? What, do I even release this video? Uh, but I at least got one, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see if I can get a second one here soon. Uh, also, let's make sure I deposit this. I don't want to accidentally disassemble this one. Oh, this is this is a lot of money worth of perkage, apparently. I didn't think it was going to be this rare. Okay, so we got the last one coming in here, and it's just flanking too. So, all in all... Uh, we only ended up getting one actual perk. Uh, let's go ahead and disassemble all of these really quick. 
Uh, if you didn't already know, you could get some uncommon components while disassembling these. Uh, honestly, it's not that often. I did get one uh, one of these gizmos that disassembled into three different uncommon components, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and I am getting a couple of parts as well. Uh, not anything too extreme, but just a little extra side benefit. I did get a couple of clockwork components if I am not mistaken, and those are rare components, so uh, I know that those are extremely expensive to get if you're not getting them from luck on gizmos. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I got all in all. The first three are all precise three flanking two, probably worthless, but keeping a hold of them just in case. I do have three precise three equilibrium twos, which I believe are going to be the best perk besides precise four equilibrium two. Uh, equilibrium two seems to give about a 2% increase on DPS and the uh, precise perk only gives like a decent amount less. Uh, as you can see, it increases the minimum damage by 1.5%, so that actually gives you a... 0.75% uh, uh, buff for every single tier that you have this perk as well, well on the other hand equilibrium actually gives you a 1% buff so this is going to be the best one besides if you have precise 4 equilibrium 2 assuming that you don't have equilibrium on your other weapon gizmo perk slot that being said I do have precise 4 equilibrium 2 I was thinking about disassembling this one but I'm keeping it just because it has precise 4 on it. It may save me a little bit of money down the line just because I won't be having to uh, actually disassemble any armadillo components. I know that's going to be a 0.75% DPS decrease by using precise 4 instead of precise 5. But I don't think that's actually that big of a deal. And if I can save myself, I don't know how much an armadillo component is worth. I think it's like 2 mil a piece. If I can save myself 10 mil... Uh, then it's definitely worth doing. Uh, obviously, if I leveled it up to level 9, it would be maybe like 2.5 mil that I'd be saving. But still, uh, save a decent amount of money, and Precise 5 would only ever be a temporary perk for me. At very best, I have 3 right now. I might get like 5 while doing Armadillo Boss, uh, just from the... Or, off from my series of 1,000 every single boss. Uh, I might get 5 of them just from the War Priest, because I doubt that I'm going to actually want to keep the War Priest. I'll probably disassemble that. Uh, so I will get one precise 5, uh, and then I do have a precise 4 here. Uh, obviously, if I have the option and if I have something else on my perk slot, I will for sure have uh, the precise 3 equilibrium 2 on there instead. But it is nice to have a precise 4. And then, of course, we come along with the best one, precise 4 equilibrium 2. This is absolutely insane. The precise is going to give me... 0.75 times 4, so that's going to be a 3% increase in my DPS, and Equilibrium 2 is going to be giving me a 1% apiece, so that's 2%, so 4 plus 2%, that's 6% DPS increase. That is the equivalent of having a Supreme Overload instead of a regular Overload. That is very big. Supreme Overload is a very high cost uh, on top of the Overload. So... Keep in mind, uh, this is going to be a really good perk if you don't have Equilibrium 2 on the other, or Equilibrium 2 or 3 on the other slot. It's a pretty big buff. For now, I'm just going to be throwing it in a gizmo bag. Hopefully I have enough components to make a gizmo bag. Uh, I do, wonderful. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make a gizmo bag and throw it in there just so that I don't accidentally disassemble this. Uh, I'll probably throw the rest of these gizmos in there, but... All in all, not the worst. At least I got one. Uh, I guess that's better than nothing. It's still a little bit depressing that I only got one. But can't complain. Beggars can't be choosers. And uh, there was a couple of mistakes I made during this. I probably should have kept my precise fours. I had to get two just blank precise fours. Probably should have kept those. I think I got maybe eight precise fours in general. I think two had cautious. Three had... Or, Three had something else. I think I had like two blunted and a couple other negative perks. So five of them had negative perks on them. I had the one precise four equilibrium two, uh, the one precise four equilibrium one. I'll probably throw that in the pouch as well. And then I had two blank precise fours. Uh, so probably should have kept a hold of those. 
decided to disassemble them just because I figured I would be using Arbidil components, but I probably don't want to do that in the future anyhow. Uh, throw these three precise three equilibrium twos in there just as a kind of a safe hold. I'll probably be throwing those on my weapons pretty soon here, as soon as I decide whether or not I want to throw a precise four on there or not. Uh, but can't complain too much about the loot. I did get some uncommon materials, so that is something. If you guys all enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like and a comment. Uh, let me know if you guys have gone for a precise 4 equilibrium 2 yourself. If you've gotten it and if you, I don't know how to disassemble tons and tons of stuff for precise and then got it one after like 10,000 attempts or something. I would love to hear the stories. As always though, have a good one.